Hey guys, how's it going? Sleeping Hollow here, and yeah, we're we're back. I know it's been seven months since my last video. Uh, things have just been crazy, been busy with lost stuff, but neither here or there. We're back. We're doing another review on the on one that I've been working on a lot, which as you can tell from the title is Mesh Machine. So that's what we're doing. All right. So what is Mesh Machine? Um, there's quite a few tools you can do in this add-on, and just to get it all the way real quick, I know in my hard ops video someone asked if um, Mesh Machine is good with hard ops and the answer is yes. In fact if we hit Q to open up the hard ops menu you can see Mesh Machine right here and right there it will lead you to the Mesh Machine objects or selection I should say. So the general Mesh Machine though is Y by default so if you hit Y you'll go to your Mesh Machine. So the question is what can you do with Mesh Machine? Well let's say let's go ahead and give this a little chamfer. All right, we have this chamfer. Now, let's say instead we want to round it out. So what we do is go ahead and fuse it, and as you can see right there, boom. So that's pretty cool. It's like, okay, we went from chamfer to a fuse, and we got, you know, a nice, nice rounded thing, but we can go even further with that. Let's say, eh, we have too many. We don't need that much. So we can go to refuse, and we can actually mess around with it. Add more, take away some. We can get rid of it altogether. And we can also change the tension. So you can make it flat, make it, you know, do whatever you want. And there's also, so we can turn that off. There's also presets. So like, you know, the 70.7 .7 is the default. So if you're just looking for to change into that, you know, that works. But aside from refusing, we can actually unfuse. So that just gets rid of it, turns it back into a chamfer. Let's say we don't even want that. We can go ahead and unchamfer and boom, we're back to, we're back to the square. So this is honestly like a pretty powerful tool. You can already see like the benefits of just being able to go back, adjust, or just get rid of it. So, okay, here's a little uh, different one. So it's just harden it, hard ops. Um, let's say we want to get rid of this top one all around. All we had to do is actually select one side like this. Let's go to unfuse and you'll see it just gets that whole selection loop, gets rid of it. Boom, done. So, right, that in itself is pretty cool. But what else can this do? Let's say, let's bring this in. Then we'll bring it in again. I'm actually trying to, okay, this is what I was trying to make. So, we've all been here where we have this issue. And we're like, oh, man, how are we going to fix this? You want to go ahead and move every point by itself? Nah, we don't have to do that anymore. What we're going to do is actually get this edge. Hold control, select this edge so we get all the edges in this loop. Go ahead, open Mesh Machine, and let's go to the Unfuck tool, X, and as you can see, we can actually adjust it. So let's say, let's move it to 0.06, and we can just do that for each one. Get that 0.06. And already, you can see the benefit of that, just being able to fix these, like, annoying little things that can you know, really affect your work. So now we just do it to the last one. Make sure all of them are selected. Just get the same amount in there. Boom. All these edges are fixed. They're all nice and clean now. In the matter of seconds, less than a minute, we were able to fix that issue. I actually don't know why I brought that up. That looks so weird. I mean, not that it really matters, but just find it. There we go. So yeah, you can completely fix those stupid errors that you might, you know, encounter when you're working. But now let's go even further. So let's say we want to get rid of this edge now, like we did with the other one. Let's go to unfuse, and you can see it goes all the way around. No, no problems. And I think if you notice, there's also other, like, there's settings you can mess with also. So let's go to refuse, for instance. If we want to cap holes, so let's actually go here. You can see we can cap it if, if you want that. Or if you don't, you can turn it on and off. Uh, the smoothness, you can turn on and off. There's different methods also, as you can see, bridge or fuse. They, you know, they have their purposes. So if you want more information of how they function, I will link Machine's actual YouTube channel in the description. He, you know, obviously they go into way way better detail of their own tools. So you'll know each setting, what each thing does exactly. And you'll have a way better understanding than, you know, this simple review. 
So now let's go to another thing I think is pretty sweet. Let's get a sphere in here. All right, and let's just smoothen it. Now, being in object mode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stash it. So essentially, it's creating a stashed version of this of this um, sphere. We can still mess with this one, but we stashed the version of it with the same, you know, normal detail and everything. So now with that done, we're actually going to go ahead and bring out some plugs. And of course, you can make your own too. Again, more details in the actual YouTube channel, Machines YouTube channel. But for now, let's just bring this one in. Let's put it right here. With that selected, we hold shift, right click, open. We're going to go ahead and plug it. Boom. All right, so that in itself is pretty cool. But now what we'll see actually is, let's get a mocap here. So you can see the normals are kind of iffy. That's basically why we got that, why we stashed that other one. So from what I've seen in the machines videos is basically you want to get everything selected outside of the of the actual bevel in here. So select all these edges around the actual plug and we'll go ahead and hit Y, go to normals and we're gonna go ahead and transfer. And so what we can see right here, it's normal transfer, it's getting it, we only have one stash, so it's getting it from that one. So we go ahead and just click to confirm that. And now when we look at it, all around this plug, the normals are just as they should be. Perfectly nice and clean. So let's try that one more time. Let's bring on a different plug. All right, let's get this one. Bring it down. Plug it. So again, we can see the like the warped areas around it. So let's go ahead and. So a good way to select this is you know select the first uh, loop. Control plus. And then we want to go ahead and deselect these loops. So we only have the outside faces touching the loops and again we're going to go normals transfer transfer those and boom there we go so all around that plug is nice normals no no problems no issues nothing so i mean you know that's pretty cool i actually don't know why that's bumping up that's pretty weird um but yeah so that in itself also the fact that you can just plug things in just like that you can fix the normals just like that Pretty sweet. So there are a few other f tools here. As you can see, there's a simple transfer, which, you know, if you have a need for it, you can go ahead and do that. So we can, you know, set it to a certain width. You can freeze it if you want. There's just a lot you can really do, as you can see here. So if you do get this, I highly suggest you just, you know, mess around with it, see what you can do. Um, also with Fuse, just, you know, one of the things I do want to mention about this is you can actually flip it. So let's say for some reason you don't want to go this way, you want to go the other way. If we hit R, it rotates it. So why you would want to do this specifically on that face, I have no idea. But, you know, one thing you can do is let's say you just want to, you want like a little arch on this face. So we can go ahead and hit F and boom, we have that arch. Go ahead and change the tension. There we go. So as you can see, this, you know, this add-on is pretty cool. doesn't have, you know, I mean, you can go in depth with all these selections. There's obviously symmetry and stuff like that. But, you know, you can, with these tools, you can really do a lot. And obviously, you can go back and just fix anything you don't like. Let's get rid of this. Let's unfuse it. Boom. Back to where we were. So again, a lot more detail on Machine's own video. Highly, highly suggest you go check that out. But on this review itself, I gotta say, I really like this add-on. I've actually been using it a lot for my weapons recently. Because, especially for the grip, like, you can really just, you know, you make, you make, I'm not gonna, you know, make one now, but I'm just saying, like, when you want to make that, that, those edges around, let's, like, let's, let's say this is the back of, like, a pistol grip, right? So this, this edge would be, like, the back, I, it would make more sense if I, like, had it like this, right? So like this would be the very back. This would start going to the side of the pistol grip. And then right here we can just grab these. You always want to make sure. What I've noticed is you always want to make sure there is like a bit on each side left. So now we can go ahead and fuse it. And then we can see right here we can handle the tension. We might not need this much though. Say so okay you know that's that's one side of the pistol grip. And then using hard offs or if you want to use mesh machine you can do that too. Either one, but there. So it gives you the you know that rounded back edge. 
So, you know, that's kind of how I go about making them now because of Mesh Machine, it's really useful. Um, in the future, I will also be covering Deco Machine. I haven't, Decal Machine, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, <laughs> I haven't gotten around to actually messing around with it yet, but that one's a little more straightforward. You know, decals, putting it on things. So I will be making that video soon, as soon as I have more time to mess around with it. But that's that's pretty much the end of this one. Um, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be making more videos soon, I promise. I've uh, just been really busy lately. But yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.